What is up, guys? Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on the topic of software in a designer's day-to-day -day workflow. I think the three biggest contenders today, in my own opinion, would be uh, Sketch from Bohemian Coding, Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, and Affinity Designer and, and Affinity Photo. Those apps, I would say, all have their strengths, and they're all actually similar these days based on what a designer needs to be able to deliver to their clients or team products whatever whatever you're designing for and i guess this this video is more or less me explaining why i basically make use of all of them there's real no 100 percent all-in app for me lately i've been in the affinity designer land and you might see that based on the other videos I'm sharing. And there, there's some reason for that, but it's it's more or less because I think my background, I grew up um, learning design and a digital design in that right uh, through Adobe products. I think many people have, and because that's kind of what existed. There were other tools um, that exist. I can't think of them right now, but Photoshop started for me when it was version CS of Creative Suite 2, which is like archaic these days. It was neat to see how each new suite transitioned into something more, more and bigger and adapted to the times. So, um, and then Adobe went into the SaaS model, which means they uh, basically bill you for a subscription um, software. And then I think everyone on the the internet started doing something like that. And it's it's cool and it makes sense because the more concurring revenue a provider like Adobe makes, the more they can ship updates to their products. And that's cool. For me, I can't see, I don't know, coming from the old version Creative Suite where you paid a lump sum for the product and you got pretty kick-ass software. Uh, these days, it seems a little more buggy, and you're paying like what 50 bucks a month for. I would probably use Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop the most of those apps, which there's a gargantuan amount of at Adobe. So my argument with Adobe is primarily uh, budget relating. Um, the software is awesome. I would say there are some quirks, as I don't know any app would have, but my history started with Adobe. So I was big into Photoshop. I did so many tutorials learning about layer masks, image manipulation, um, slicing, dicing, exporting, all that stuff. Um, and then I started to see the, the web transition into more of scalable graphics. So the trends of flat design or things that just needed to look good on mobile screens or something like that was a big need to have. And these days that's that's a requirement. It's not just a feature. So to support that, us designers need to deliver assets that are capable of, you know, scaling. Enter Sketch, and I think Sketch was a long time coming in in the designer world. It's a sweet app. My, uh, I'll critique it, but basically my beef with it is the bugginess. Um, each new update, it seems like. They may add something and it's cool feature, but um, something else breaks or for some reason text isn't rendering right. Um, not to mention typography in Sketch is kind of a pain in the ass, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. Where it shines is UI design. That was its intended purpose. So rather than Photoshop, which was an, an app that was for image editing that became a web design app, which I don't know, you know, that was what we had to work with. Sketch comes in and kind of takes the cake there. And I think that's pretty pretty um, strategic of them to, to see the problem, offer, offer an alternative um, solution and one that I don't know how many designers I know of that are loving it, you know. So Sketch has plenty of strengths. It has its own weaknesses as well. A cool feature known to it that's unique is the, the plugin base or the plugins. Um, I know Photoshop's getting more plugins to this day, but I think Sketch has more of the open source vibe going on with it, and that's pretty cool. And then finally, Affinity Products, who I would characterize as uh, Photoshop and Illustrator reinvented, and 
in a good way. It's not it's not going against the grain in the in the sense that they're completely different than those programs, but I would say it's taking those programs and and fixing the flaws, you know. So there doesn't need to be eight, you know, all these menus and hard ways to get to, you know, things you're trying to do in the design to where the software gets in the way of design or creativity. And I think Affinity is kind of seeing that and targeting that and making it more approachable in our, our designer ecosystem. I think my heart lies mostly with Affinity products right now. You've probably seen the videos that I've been broadcasting uh, on the YouTube channel, but I, I certainly use all of them. And the reason I use all of them are for a variety of reasons. Photoshop is kind of the archaic <laughs> app that um, everyone, every, universal I should say, uh, that almost anyone would consider a valid deliverable uh, when it comes to a web design, which is primarily what I design for. In terms of like uh, UI design, I would go for Illustrator if I was using only Adobe products, mainly because they're scalable, it's vector-based program. So uh, you want those to be able to export at different sizes so developers can um, you know, queue those into different apps and operating systems like iOS or Android, stuff like that. So I use Photoshop mainly for the deliverable. I have clients, some are kind of bigger clients that can't just adapt to new trends and, and concepts. They need staff that utilize things that they know work. So a PSD in that right is something they know will work. If I sent them a sketch file, I guarantee you someone wouldn't have a Mac to be able to open it and it would be a pain in the ass. There's the downfall of another downfall of Sketch at this point. But going back, I use Sketch to work on UI design. So if I'm building maybe a, a mobile app of some sort, I think Sketch is really quick to come to life of, of concept inside the, the um, mobile world. Um, I think it's great for UI and delivering assets in that right, or even just wireframing. I really like to use it for that because it's very quick to get something done on Canvas. I would say there's this shift that's happening from Adobe to Sketch, and I see plenty of people going the Sketch route, and it makes sense for what we have to deal with today as designers, but I still have that feeling of I want an app that can do it all. I don't want to have to go from Photoshop back into Sketch because I wanted to you know, edit an image um, in a special way, which is you can't even do in Sketch. So um, me coming from Photoshop, I would say I prefer the Affinity products because they are offering that. Like Affinity Designer, for instance, has a different what they're called personas and they're basically different modes inside the application that allow you to do different things so the primary one in affinity designer is uh the drawing one so it's basically like an illustrator clone but it's i would say a little more efficient faster all that jazz but there's another mode called pixel persona so you can actually go in with an image in your design and throw masks on it inside a vector program and it works perfectly. That to me is like, I don't know, beautiful music was playing in the background when, that, when I discovered that with a new uh, application. A huge thing I like about Affinity too is that it's a flat rate. You get updates for life in terms of cost and it's not $50 a month like Adobe products, which are good. But who the hell has that kind of money? I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm arguing here, but I'm just trying to explain the pros and cons of each. And I'll be honest, I don't even have Adobe software that is on the SAS model. I still have CS6 working right now and it works just fine for me. I don't, I don't have any issues there. If I were to pick any application right now that I would stick with, it would be Affinity Designer. I would say in the end, choose which application you do your best work with. The biggest thing I'll say is to not let the software get in the way of creativity, because if that happens, then it's rendered useless. So in the end, if you can do your best work and deliver results and make yourself happy, the client happy, whoever you're working for, agency, product team, whatever you are, just get, get stuff done. It doesn't matter what software you use. There's this constant, I would say, uh, gang of designers that, you know, drift one way or another. It's almost like political. It's crazy. 
this was me just trying to kind of compare and contrast those applications and, and tell you how I use them. There's no wrong way. And um, I would say if you can try all of them and find which one works best for you. In my case, I use them all. So you might not just find one. That's, that's the sad truth. And I think that's a reality these days. As designers, we have to use tools to our advantage and find ways to combine them in a unique way to make our own impact on the community. So I invite you to check out my other videos. If you like this one, please subscribe. Probably be doing more of these kind of one-on-ones with you <laughs> if you enjoy them, of course. So I think that's all for now. And I thank you for watching.